My name is Ben Cooper. I'm a partner at Cooper Elliott in Columbus, Ohio. This case was a little bit of a unique from a medical malpractice case perspective because we really had two distinct acts of negligence. One was with the gastroenterologist, the other was with the trauma surgeon. Both worked at the same institution, but both were sort of independently liable for causing um, our client's death. We got involved in this case when uh, a man came to our office and said, hey, my wife of 40 years just died in this hospital. So he wanted to figure out what happened and why it happened. He also wanted to make sure that, it, that it, something like this didn't happen to anyone else in the future. Our client had had a little bit of blood in her stool and her normal gastroenterologist, her GI doctor, scheduled her for what's called a video capsule endoscopy. What it is is they take a little camera, which is about the size of like a big pill, they put it on the tip of an endoscope, and then they put that pill down your throat, down your stomach, right into the kind of first part of your bowel. There's an important fact that both of these doctors know about our client. They know that she has altered anatomy. She had had surgery on her intestines and, and her stomach. The doctors think that she has two exits coming out of her stomach, but in fact she only has one. They think she has something that's called a Bill Roth II procedure. She's only got what's called a Rue NY procedure. So um, she goes in for this capsule endoscopy. They put it on the endoscope, they slide it down, they slide it down past her stomach into the intestine. They start to feel some pressure, but they keep pushing. And eventually they perforate her intestine, they push through it. They get her quickly to a CT scan. CT confirms that there's a perforation and they say, we need to get you to emergency surgery. Our clients then hand it off to a trauma surgeon. He starts cutting in the area where he thinks the perforation is located. As he's kind of cutting through, working his way to try to find this perforation, he cuts a major vein and our client ends up bleeding to death on the operating table. He can't repair it in time. This case in particular, I think, cried out for visuals. I worked very closely with DK Global initially, knowing what our experts had testified and reported on setting up the animation well. And then of course our experts reviewed the animation to make sure it was 100% medically accurate and um, that they would feel comfortable saying this was a fair and accurate representation of what had happened to our client. As trial was approaching, we mediated the case. Um, that mediation was ultimately unsuccessful ultimately resolved with uh, the defendant hospital paying $900,000. It was worth that cost because the quality of the product was so much higher than, than the other companies that we were looking at.